Okay, welcome back. We're going to talk about how to make a mathematical model of something that's nonlinear. You can see that there's a lot of choices on here. There's not just these two straight line ones. There's these other ones at the bottom where we have to do something to make them into a straight line. And you use Google Sheets to do that pretty nicely. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. Um, a lot of times when you do it in the lab, you'll need to make two graphs. One where you show what the curved line looked like and one where you show what the straight line looked like. We're going to do both those things so they're easy to paste. To do that, though, we have to go back to our drive. We have to start a new Google Sheet. Again, you can give this a name if you're going to, you don't have to if you're going to paste the data back out later. Okay. But what I'm going to do is put all of my data in here. I'm going to use zero. One, two, three, four, five. Those are going to be my uh, x axis, my independent variable. I'm going to use time again because it's convenient. And then we're going to do three, four, seven, twelve. 19, 28. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be our other data, our distance data. And we're going to graph this. This time I can tell it's not going to be a straight line because it didn't go up like an even numbers all the way across. Okay. But we still want to check it. So we're going to do, and we might need to do it if it's say a lab. So I'm going to go back to like we did before and do insert chart. I'm going to choose the same kind down here. You can, I can clearly see that's not going to be what it is. Okay. Okay. So I can still label my axes if I need to, just like we've talked about before. Okay. But but I looked at this. I'm going to do that next. Okay. But I look at this and go, oh, it's one of those other kind of charts. So I'm going to go back to my graphical method summary. I'm going to say, well, which one matches? That's this one. As x increases, the time increases, the y, the distance increases at an increasing rate. To linearize it, I'm going to have to take y versus x squared. So I'm going to take all the x values and square them and then graph it. And I should be able to get a line like the kind I want. So I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet here. Okay. So I'm going to take all these numbers and square them. So to do that, in this case, I'm going to paste them all over copy them all. Oh, it doesn't like that, so I have to do control. I want to show that to you too. I have to use control C to copy it. You can see I made a little box around it. I'm going to make a new sheet. You can see the old sheet is still here, but I can put the new one on there. I'm going to paste all that data here, but I have to square all these numbers. Well, I can do it with my calculator, but these ones turn to be easy. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. Okay. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to graph those. So I go back to the same thing, select all those, choose insert, chart, back to here. You can see that these kind of bunch up at the beginning, but they make a nice straight line, just like the kind I want. So insert, move my graph over, go back and right click on the PC or two finger click on the Chromebook to choose advanced edit. And I can do all the things I did before. This is going to be distance versus time squared. Peanut. Let's say I dropped a peanut. Okay. All right. And that means my axis here will be on the bottom. Remember, it's time squared because I squared all those numbers on the x axis. So my unit will be seconds squared. Okay. Okay. Then on the y axis, the left vertical. I didn't change those numbers, so I just use distance, meters, or centimeters. Okay. 
And then I go back down like I did before. I choose linear. And then I scroll down a little more. My label is going to be use the equation. It puts an equation up here. Okay. And then it's going to be update. Okay. You can see there's my new graph. And my equation is y equals x plus 3. So if I'm writing this out, I have to replace it with all the different things. y is the distance, such as d equals. There's no number in front of the x, so we know that means mathematically that's going to be a 1, because any number times 1 will be itself. So it's going to be 1. The units are going to come from my axes over here and my axis down here. So it's going to be 1 centimeter per second squared times time squared plus 3 because that is my in my equation here that is my my uh, y intercept and because it hits this x over here it's going to be centimeters so now I've done that and I can do the, any one of these things it works with the 1 over x it works with the y squared equals mx plus b all of those will work the same way to give you your mathematical model.